right guys and welcome back so I have got uh, I've read some of the comments on the today's video today is actually Halloween and I'm recording yay um, we probably won't do a lot of um, I don't think we're gonna get any trick-or-treaters we did buy candy just in case but um, I know that I'm not sending my kids out to do trick-or-treating um, we did our version of candied apples um, we just did slice can, or sliced apples with different toppings and whatnot. Anyway, and uh, we did painting pumpkins and such like that. Um, but the kids, I mean, I think they understand. I think a little bit later on this evening, uh, it's only two o'clock right now. Later on this evening, I think we're going to um, possibly do some family friendly, you know, Halloween movies and such like that. But anyway, I wanted to say hi and, um, you know, it is November now for you guys. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I was reading some of the comments and a lot of you have asked for like how to use up your scrapbooking supplies because I don't know about you, but I know I personally started paper crafting with scrapbooking. So I have so, so, so many scrapbooking supplies. I have stickers and papers and you know this that and another and it's just like you know you really don't want to throw it away you don't want to give it away because you pay a lot of money for that stuff I mean let's be honest scrapbooking supplies are no cheaper than journaling supplies so why can't we use scrapbooking supplies in our junk journals and we can and so I'm gonna show you guys um, a little bit on how to do that um, so my desk is pretty messy right now. I literally, I just have this piece of paper. I think it was like an extra piece from a label. Oh no, I printed my new calendar because it's November and I only used half the page. So I figured I would use this for something. I have no idea what. Um, but anyway, in my other hand, I have stencils um, that, you know, aren't your typical journaling stencils. They are large and uh big and they were you know I got these many many moons ago for scrapbooking um, lines for you know adding my um, captions if you will and there's no reason we can't use these and here's some that are a little more fun some words believe gratitude create success love faith imagine which is really great dream love that one some dragonflies a butterfly a ladybug um, not sure if I'm gonna use this one anytime soon but it's uh, they're it's tools it says let's build but a lot of stuff like this I got from yard sales and such um, so I have really no idea where they came from I used to do a lot of yard selling when we were in Hawaii because they had yard sales like year round. Well, because it's in Hawaii. Um, so Tim Holtz is uh, something that I did get a lot of when I was doing just the regular paper crafting. And I dug into my Christmas buckets. Buckets. Yes, I have more than one. It is quite sad. Um, but I have a ton of Christmas like paper crafty stuff. Not you know, vintage, antique, your traditional junk journal stuff. So I thought it was really great that a lot of people were asking for like ways to use the scrapbooking materials and supplies because, hello, I have, I have a couple. Um, and there's this website called Peachy, Peachy something, and they have like daily deals. I got this from that. Uh, stickers more stickers like I said in one of my earlier videos I used to get a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree and this is one of those things so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab some of those cards do you guys remember a little while ago we made a bunch of journaling cards I'm gonna grab a couple of them so we are gonna grab some wintry ones because my goal is to use these cards that I'm making right now in the journals that I'm making as well and so I did pull some of this paper out um, when I was going through I actually reorganized my scrapbook paper too I've been on a really big organizing frenzy I completely rearranged my living room 
Uh, my kids were not happy with me, but I did it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of those. Oh, we'll grab these white ones. Those will be pretty. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just grab all of these. I think, well, we could even make that work, to be honest with you, because um, we've got some uh, pinks and florals and such like that. So we're just going to grab one real quick and see what happens. Um, so, um, so this writes this way, so I think I want to do this, but you don't have to, you're not limited. Um, I didn't bring any of my scrapbook paper over because I have a lot of other stuff. Um, this is one of my rings of stickers. Like I have this little ring that I got from the Dollar Tree and this is just one of the stickers uh, on it. So, Santa Claus, some letters, some bows and trees, and I'm not sure why I grabbed this particular one. Um, Sorry, I'm just like trying to figure out what in the world caught my eye and I was just like, oh, I can use that. It might have been the trees. I don't know. Um, so I guess I'll just grab one of those. Er, okay, close that. Oh, and in hindsight, I'm not sure how great of an idea this is, but wait, go over there. And I don't know if you guys remember this but I used these a lot when I was doing just regular paper crafting and making cards and such. So this will be fun, I think, to play with as well. You can also use die cuts, um, Tim Holtz or otherwise. Like there is a lot of um, die cuts out there. I'll have to like get my, cause I have Christmas stuff kind of scattered everywhere. And, um, and this is very thick, but I have Christmas stuff just scattered all over the place. It's not just in one location. Um, I think I want to do it like that. There we go, like that. And then will this fit here? No, but we can put something else there. All right, so hold that. Cut this. And peel this back up. All right, um, let's try this uh, glue that is stuck. My pen was glued to my thing. So I'm not sure what kind of glue to use. I use all kinds of glue, but I guess I shouldn't do that with that particular glue. Normally I would just use my Uhu, but I have this stuff and I'm supposed to be using it to see how I like it. So figured why not? Let's hold that. All right, I'm gonna put you right in the middle. Blue. Oof. Now putting the pen back in is fun. Okay. And so there's really all kinds of stickers and such that we have here. Um, these are 3D, but I don't think I want to use them as 3D, which I have done several times. I will take 3D stickers and make them un-3D. And these actually have moss stuff on them. So basically all I do is peel off the tape here. And be careful so you don't damage the sticker. 
because you don't want to do that. Oh my goodness gracious. But you do want to step off. Okay. This might have been easier and better to do in hindsight while not recording. <laughs> but that's okay because y'all get to see exactly what happens not just the miracle of television like poof it's done all right so let's take the back off here which is why i really like doing the um the unedited kind of journal with me videos versus edited um you know magic of tv it's done type of deal now i I used to do stuff like that, but I just got more, I got, I got better feedback and better response when it was live, if you will, um, because people can see that, you know, us people on YouTube, we're still just people. We make mistakes too. We don't, you know, always edit out our mistakes. So all you see is the Instagram ready photo, if you will. Uh, there, uh, there was someone, my husband was watching some video and she used that terminology it's like oh it was the uh oh it was the the biggest pet peeves with living tiny is what he was watching um and she was just like yeah i'm not gonna show you just instagram ready photos and she's like okay well maybe a couple i thought it was funny but And now we've got this really great sticker that is no longer 3D, so it can go into our very flat journals. Because I don't know about you guys that all started out scrapbooking, but I loved my 3D stickers, man. I didn't care about that dimension. I wanted more dimension. Like, yeah, pop it up make it bulky but ever since I've been into the jur journaling world it's just like everything has to be flat 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 which very much goes against my grain because <laughs> I like bulky I like dimension and also what you can do here is if you really wanted to, you could glue the top of this so the stuff would stop coming off of it. Which I'm not sure if I'm gonna do or not. I mean, eventually it'll stop, I think. And I have absolutely no idea how this art glitter glue works with uh, plastic. I guess we'll find out because I might just be tearing this off and putting E6000 down. No idea. So we went to the grocery store today. We go grocery shopping every Saturday. I went to the grocery store today and I found these um, German cookies, like as in they're imported from Germany. And I had one and it, it was really good. It, for one, it's 110 calories for one cookie and the cookie's like huge. Um, but for two, it was really good and I told him I was like you know I'm not sure what it is but it kind of reminds me of gingerbread cookies but 
better because I actually don't like gingerbread cookies. Not any that I have had anyway. I will always try them because, well, I'll try anything basically. And I'm just kind of trying to hold this down because it keeps popping up on me. Anyway, um, so a little bit later, I told Haven the same thing, my oldest daughter, for those of you who don't know. And I was like, oh, well, that's why they taste like gingerbread. She was like, why? I was like, because they're gingerbread. It was funny. Um, all right, so let's figure out a... We wish you a Merry Christmas. Winter Wonderland. Yes, let's do that one. I want to do that one. It's a wonderful life. Merry and bright. Make spirits bright. Merry and bright. Winter Wonderland again. Special delivery. Oh, that might be nice. Um, do not open. I don't know. Let's do Winter Wonderland. Okay. Uh, we are going to change the color because we can do that. Oh yeah, well, let's ink the edge of this because everything in our journals are inked. And so that's another great thing about the scrapbooking paper, using it in junk journals, is you can age just about anything with your inking technique. Um, you can like change the way that you ink and use different things because different items will give you a different texture when you're inking. Um, I've also got some ribbons in here that I got way back when, when I started, you know, the paper crafting. I prefer the brush. A lot of people use various tools. Um, the brush is absolutely amazing for stenciling, but I actually prefer the, br the brush to any other tool for inking. Uh, you can get these on Amazon for very inexpensive. Um, this one says, let it snow. And I'm not trying to do to like Christmas Christmas because a lot of people celebrate other things, not just Christmas, right? So, oops, I want to do more of like a winter thing. Um, so we're going to put this straight across the, the banner here. We might just pick that up. Put it straight across like that. All right, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. This is fabric. this up I think I'm gonna try yep I am and then go across here All right. and then I'm gonna glue this back down I guess we could use fabric talk or you know what let's stick with the, the other one that's one it seemed to work fairly well okay let's try not to stab myself okay and then so we've used this is actually scrapbook paper that's on here uh, this is not it's ledger paper but this is scrapbook paper and these cards are project live cards so i don't know if you guys remember uh, the videos uh, i think i did these a few weeks back um actually let me see um i did these on scooch over calendar um, can you turn around? Uh, Monday. Yeah. 
Uh, Monday, October 5th is when I did these. I have a calendar right there of the uh, videos that I've done for all of October. It helps me keep track, especially when I'm doing, um, oh my gosh, I'm a ding dong. Okay. So y'all are going to be like, Tasha, there's a backing on there. Yes, there is. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit more glue. There's actually a backing on this ribbon. Anyway, schedules help tremendously, I can tell you. Oh, and I will get to how I made the schedule. It is super, super simple. I actually alternated schedules because I have two that are uh, homeschooled. And my oldest, she graduated in June. And the schedule actually is pretty awesome because it helps to keep them on track without being completely overwhelmed by the fact that they're doing schoolwork, you know? Um, I'm just going to slide this down to where I cut it. Right there. Okay. Wow, that's so much better. Is not straight. There it is. That's better. I was like, it's not straight. Okay. So, anyway, they are on alternating schedules. Um, my youngest daughter, she normally gets up between five and seven. So she starts first. Uh, she starts at eight o'clock. Anything before eight o'clock is her time. She can watch TV. She can you know, read a book, play video games, you know, whatevs. Um, and she likes doing all of those things. So if it wasn't stapled to my wall, I would go get them and show them to you. But they are stapled to my wall or my wall. All right. So there's one. Where's my, there we go. Winter Wonderland here. Let's do a snowflake. Where did my snow bolts go? Did someone steal my snowflakes? Oh, right here. So we're going to take one of these and I'm actually going to cut it because I need to do some stuff to it to make it junk journal worthy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to dirty it. And then I'm going to put this back here. Let's see, where do we want to put this? trying to figure out how I want to do this. Do it like that. That's kind of cool. And see, so we could also do super teeny tiny ones. We could add another one down here and down here. Let's do that see how that looks. I'm going to dirty these up too. Could leave them white I guess too. 
but many, 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 many things and junk journals and um, the this particular community is very grungy, aged, but then again, there's many things that are not. So it doesn't have to be, you know, aged or grungy or, you know, it doesn't have to be that. So if like your idea of a junk journal is only antique or vintage, um, definitely look up on YouTube other creators that do journals that because there's a lot of people that do journals that don't do vintage or grunge. Like they don't do either one. there's one and then let's see put you there put you there and put you right there okay I like this All right. and we are doing it off to the side a little bit so it's not full you know a full snowflake it's a partial snowflake And I got some on the trees there. And these little snowflakes here I got from the Dollar Tree. Again, with the, you don't have to buy things that are super expensive. And again, you don't have to buy anything at all. Just use what's ever in your stash. You don't like it, change it. And I'll show you more on that a little bit later. Oh my gosh, no. My dog, my kid, uh, both of my younger kids are outside. My oldest is with my uh, husband. Um, I had to go drop off a package because I ordered a case for my laptop. And it said that it was for 15 inch retina, but when I got it home and tried to put it on my computer, it was too small. So I was like, what in the world? So I had to send it back and I had my daughter get me a computer case because I was like, okay, find the right one because this one doesn't fit. All right, so we're just gonna snip the excess off here. All right, and there you go. Voila. Nice journaling card that's not too bulky. The chipboard does make it a little bulky and you can definitely use other means. You can also take this completely off. Actually, let's see if we can do that. And just use the wording and not the chipboard itself to make it lay a little bit more flat. I know it kind of defeats the purpose of those great chipboard pieces, but this is a journaling card that we want to go inside the journal and again with the journaling got to be flat man flat and there you go it is flat see pretty flat it's curved still but i think that turned out really really cute and i mean granted it's been 30 minutes but <laughs> A lot of that was spent just yap, yammering on. Um, but yeah, you guys can definitely use your scrapbooking material. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to make these journals with the scrapbooking material. So we can just show you guys it's possible to use what you have. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. It was a lot of fun. And again, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, just let me know. And I am more than happy to accommodate. Um, so we will continue to use our scrapbooking supplies to make these journals. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.